Hello, this is Sylvia C. and Charlie, the real estate dog. Say hi, Charlie. Charlie, say hi. I guess Charlie's not going to cooperate with us today. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for month of May, yeah, I'm sure you all receive your newsletters. Uh, there's a new section we've added to it. And the section is, I'm calling it Homeowner's Corner. These are the questions that I get from people all the time. And I've covered it this month, uh, some questions that I've received from uh, clients via phone call or via email. If you have a question that you want to be answered, please email me or call me. I'll be happy to answer it on our next newsletter. I'd love your input on that. Um, number two, um, I'm addressing a subject I'm getting a lot of questions about right now. It's about the question of either to move or to improve. What should they do? Well, um, I thought it might be a good idea for us to look into that and sort of talk about what some of the reasonings are and uh, why should people move or why should they improve. I've noticed there are three different stages of um, for people to move into homes. The first stage is a starter. People are very excited to get into their first home. That's They move in there, they're there a few years, and all of a sudden, their family changes. And they have kids or family member moves in. They need a larger space. And that's one of the times they ask the question, should I move or should I improve? Well, if you really are in a situation where you're in the neighborhood that you purchased in, there's a lot of new construction going on, and by you adding on to the property, it really is going to add value to that investment that you have, then it's a good time to go ahead and prove that home. Uh, but if you're in a neighborhood where all the homes are not really improving, uh, they're all the same size, and uh, you know the values are appreciating, however, if you put that additional hundred or two hundred thousand dollars into it it's not really going to add value to it then guess what it's time to move um the third stage that i see a lot of times that people are moving when the home that they're living in it has uh, really it's the size is too big for them or an older family member moves in, they needed like one story, and they want to get into a different location to make it more convenient for them to be able to walk versus drive. That's the third time I see the move occur. Again, people ask me, well, if I can make the house a little bit more to my needs, would that be a good situation or would it be better for me to move? Well, again, you got to consider uh, by you putting the improvements that you personally need or would that really add value to it or subtract value from it or would it be better for you to move and there is another thing to consider if you're really considering moving and that is um, if you moved there is some things as such as selling costs that you have to keep in mind and also your new taxes on the new pur new purchase is definitely going to go up now if you improve the home that also is going to occur however probably not as much um, you know again also keep in mind right now what's going on overall market. Um, our interest rates are fabulous. They've never been this down. I mean, this is the lowest interest rates you can get right now. And values are still, you know, not as high as they were at one time. Uh, but we are definitely an upswing market. And, um, you know, if you buy anything right now and move, uh, it it definitely is going to be going up for you and you are getting a bargain prices still with fabulous interest rates. So those are things to consider. And if you have any further questions and you want to find out more about your specific situation, feel free to contact me. Again, thanks for tuning in and enjoy this beautiful spring weather.